Hey gorgeous, today I want to give you three of my daily habits that keep me grounded, but more importantly, keep me connected to my feminine all day long. I'm Lauren Joyce, sex and relationship coach for women and founder of The Magnetic Woman. So often I'm asked, how do I stay connected to my feminine? How do I even connect to my feminine in the first place? And then how do I do that on a regular basis? I know it can seem really challenging, especially in the fast paced world that we live in and you being a busy, successful, ambitious woman. Our tendency is to always be in a space where we're trying to do or take action, push things ahead. We have so many things on our plate. So the idea of being connected to our feminine in our bodies, as much as we may want that, can be a challenging thing to do on a regular basis. So I thought today I would give you three daily habits that I do that really help me stay connected to my feminine and really keep me grounded in running a business and having a very busy life. So the first thing is I always start my day with time for myself. So me personally, I love to journal and meditate. This is my time and space to really process through anything that's going on for me mentally or emotionally. And then the meditation for me is a space where I can just be still. I can allow creative ideas to come. Again, I can allow anything that I'm moving through mentally or emotionally to process through. So the first thing, the first daily habit is giving yourself time and space any time of the day to really connect within. So the important thing about your feminine is it's in your body. Our feminine is our connection to our intuition. It's that connection to, you know, those impulses, that creative energy. But the only way that you can be connected to that on a regular basis is if you actually carve out time to connect within. So my first daily habit is having time and space to connect within. My second daily habit is really putting my sensuality at the forefront of my life. So what do I mean by this? Sensuality is just living life with all of your senses engaged. So I personally love to burn candles. I make sure that my apartment, my office, even where I film my videos is very aesthetically pleasing. I make sure that I always have really delicious, yummy food on hand. I make sure that the clothes I'm wearing feel really amazing on my skin and I feel really amazing in them. And I would say the one element of sensuality that I always come back to that always makes me feel connected to my feminine is that element of beauty. So finding beauty in and everywhere that I am, really go, putting myself in um, alignment and in situations where things are very aesthetically pleasing because that makes me feel amazing and making sure that I feel beautiful every single day, no matter what I'm wearing, no matter what's going on, just taking that time to get ready first thing in the morning really sets the tone for the entire day. And putting sensuality at the forefront of my life allows me all day, every day to come back and connect to my body. Because what else puts you in your body than utilizing your senses? So my second daily habit is putting sensuality at the forefront of my life. And my third daily habit is really doing embodiment practices and movement. So I enjoy working out, especially yoga classes. So I do that on a regular basis. But I also make sure that every single day I'm moving my body and I like to call it non-goal oriented movement. So while I go to the gym and I work out and that's a part of my lifestyle, I also love to dance and I love to do tantric based embodiment practices because that really really connects me to the core and the essence of who I am as a woman. Again, being connected to your feminine, being connected to your essence as a woman really comes back to being connected to your body. So when you put that as a priority, whether that be working out, dancing, taking walks, doing different embodiment practices, that's going to help you stay connected to your body. And when you start to do these things on a regular basis and really put them as a priority. So again, the habits are having time and space to connect within, 
putting sensuality at the forefront of your life and making sure you move your body every single day and you incorporate embodiment practices. This will help keep you grounded all day because again, our feminine, being connected to our feminine is about being connected to our essence, being really grounded in who we are. And this breeds a sense of natural confidence. But again, it can be all too easy to get caught up in our head overthinking, overanalyzing, being self-critical, reacting to life. But when you connect to your feminine on a regular basis, you start to make it your new set point. And then you become the woman who has natural confidence, who's connected to her body and who just radiates this incredible magnetism and the woman who's actively creating her life, the woman who's just really grounded in who she is. So I hope you've enjoyed my three daily habits. If you've liked this video, please subscribe to my channel so that you'll be the first one to know when new videos arrive. See you soon.